Greetings, Greywitch here. So I am back, and we're going to play the Keo Perico Heist. So we'll get this started up and have some fun, make some money, see what's going on. We got the panther with the emerald, uh, sapphires on it in the safe, so we're going to make some good money this time. A hundred thousand dollars? When did this change? I could have swore I just did this a couple weeks ago, and it was, well, it's been more than a couple weeks, probably a couple months. It was like 20,000. Somebody's doing something. All right, so we got to gather intel, which is stupid. Let's see where we're going to go. We're going to move the submarine to get where we need to be. Hmm, that's pretty close. Uh, the other one's closer. Let's go here. Leto Forest. Man, so it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been like two months or something. It's been a while. But I've been working really, really hard. Because I have to move again. Yeah, the people who own the building that I live in sold the building. Well, it actually got sold three times. Long, long story, but... Anyway, they jacked the rent up over 600 bucks, so we're like, nah. And <laughs> we're moving to a new place. So, that ought to be pretty cool. But we had to get all that taken care of, and then I had, I've been working, and then I got the flu. It's been a while. But it's good to be back in the seat playing some games. Okie dokie over here. This is really my least favorite of these missions for this heist. At least 30. I know one thing, we did this not too long ago. I showed a friend how to do this, and I think we made 700000 so it's not all fun and games playing this. Alright, let's see. Ooh, I wonder if I can get both of them at the same time. Doink. Got him. Down. Shot him in the crotch. Get this guy. Oh, he thinks he's safe. He's like, oh, you can't get me. I'm behind the car. Well, let me show you a little something. So if you're hiding behind a car, you're doomed. Just like that. Oh, not that. There. Where's the other guy? No. Nope. Oh, right there. I'm going to shoot him in the shins to death. He's down. Just in case. Double shot. Double tap. There's zombies afoot. So did anybody get to do the, the zombie thing? Survival? Was it cool? I didn't get to do it. Because I was working. But it looked like it was pretty cool. Damn, that thing lands hard as hell. But it did look cool. I saw some videos. On the sketchy ass internet that I had where I was working. It was like the McDonald's internet. Well, I don't know. McDonald's might have good internet now. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been in one. That used to be a joke. Could be. They might have banging internet. Oh, that that's that's not good. All right, this is a long flight that I'm not going to keep in. Just sit here and just drive all slow and shit. So I'm going to cut this out. Yay! We're heading to the island. Gonna do some stuff. Look around, find some things. Baring, esperen ahí. Like that hair? That's pretty awesome, isn't it? For once, eh? Arms out. Let's go. Hey, don't touch that, Mr. Booty Hole. Okay. Wait over there. They will bring it soon. Go on. You're pretty bossy for a guy without a gun. As soon as you go beyond the airstrip, you must be careful. If guards get a good look at you while you are in the restricted area, they will know something is not right. 
safest thing is to stay out of sight. Let's see this hair and get a hunk of hunk of burning love. All right, cut across yonder field. Make sure I don't hit a tree. Hey, what's that? There's a question mark. I wonder if this is for that thing. I found a skeleton. It gave me a map. I don't know if that was the same thing. Hmm. All right. L2 for metal detector. The lights on the device will increase as you get closer. Okay. Nope. Not over here. That's pretty strong where I was. Oop, right there. Well, won't we'll let me get nothing. That's weird. It's not saying, like, dig or nothing. It's got to be right there. Yep. Nothing out here. Come on. Go back over here. Oh. I thought something would come up. Oh. Hey, look. I got my gun, but it says my weapons are stashed. I could shoot it, but I'm scared I'd get caught. Get where this thing's doing the thing. This is not where it was. Here we are. I'm pretty sure in Red Dead something popped up that was like dig or something. Oh, there it is. All right, we got it. I guess I had to put the thing away. And that was my bad. What do we got? Treasure? 25,000. Kick ass. Oh, there's two of them. I ain't looking for the other one. That's that's funny. All right, let me see if I can get out of here without getting killed. Or raising a ruckus. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's sneak up through here. You have to give me a few minutes while I do this because it's been a long time since I've done this. I didn't do this part the last time I let the, a friend of mine do it. Remember the pattern that this guy takes. And we've got a guy walking down towards us. He's got to stay out of his cone of vision and the dude in the tower and the camera. So as I look at the mini map. All right, he's walking away. Now I just got to wait to see if this dude's going to move. Wait for him to turn the other direction. Because I know as soon as I move out there, he'll turn around and I'll get caught. Alright. Should have got some better shoes. Oh, right here. Stuck down right here and let everything... He's coming back towards us. Come on. 
Come on, everybody, go the other way. Or at least do it faster. All right, he's turned away. Now, as soon as this dude turns away. Oh, now we got a car coming. All right, we are clear. Oh shit, there's a car coming. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I'm gonna get caught. There's no way I'm not gonna get caught. Oh, that was lucky. All right, just stick in this middle area. Damn tree. Car coming up to the left. Hopefully he turns left. Good, good. So we gotta cross this road. I'm running in these damn penny loafers. All right, it's pretty much a clear shot all the way there now. I'm just scared the hell out of that dude. See, there needs to be a motorcycle back there somewhere so I can just get on that and make this faster. Takes forever! But, uh... What would be cool is I wish they had done everything they're doing with this. Oh, he's talking. I'm trying to talk. But I wish they had done all this from the yacht. I mean, the submarine's cool, don't get me wrong, but everything that's been done from the submarine could be done from the yacht. And I mean, this is like a paradise island. Of course there'd be yachts out in the thing, hanging out by where the coolness is. So it makes sense. We should have had the yachts. Or it should have been an option, at least. Either buy the sub or add the thing to your yacht. Because that would have been cool. I mean, you can't really drive the yacht around, but you could fast travel it. Basically the same thing I'm doing. I'm never driving it by itself. Unless me and friends are in the lobby just doing ridiculous things. Hmm, I can hear it. It's up here somewhere. There it is. Ooh, what do we got over here? Nothing. Alright. Let's hack this thing. So this is kind of cool. I don't know. I don't even know if I know how to do this good. I just kind of wing it. Well, that's that one up. All right, let's do it again. All right, I'll do 10, 22, all right, no, oh, 70. Yeah, let's do 70. Ah, bingo. Okay, I have access. The app is on your phone. Let us take a look now. Let's have a look in the vault room in the basement. Well, I gotta go through these other cameras first. There we go. Display case. There is a Panther statue covered in sapphires. Well, if you were wondering what to steal, I would say that this is the answer. Hmm. Getting through the case will be a challenge. Use the wrong tool and you destroy what is inside. I will do some research. Oh good, they got a painting in here. Usually I do not know if this painting is good, but I know it is expensive. Usually when you come in here they don't have any of them. Oh wow, there's another one. I can get two. Wow. Might actually do pretty good on this mission. I don't care about any of the rest of this. I see. I have made a note on the planning board. 
All right, so now the easiest way to get back to the thing is just jump. Don't pull the parachute, just hit the ground. You'll respawn back at the plane. Ta-da! If you're not, if it's not on the top, just walk up to a guard, and he'll take you back. And then it's that fast. All right, so back to Los Santos, so we can do all our prep work. All right, I will see you back at the submarine. All right, so now we're gonna knock out all the prep work. Got quite a bit of it to do. We're gonna get the submarine. All right, let's move this thing. And after the first thing where you just have to go get the plane and drive it there, this is my second least favorite mission. <laughs> and it's not that hard, it's just it's close quarters combat inside of a submarine, and it's annoying. But other than that, it's, it's a fairly, you know, easy mission. It's just I hate close quarters combat. Because you'll get snuck up on and get got really easy. <laughs> When I used to play speedball, that was the well, paintball. Speedball was the one part that I hated. I loved playing woods ball and you know all the different assaults and things like that. But speedball just it'll get you. All right, we got to change into scuba suit. There we are. I got the new tiger one because they're great. <laughs> And if you don't have a scuba suit, you're going to have to use rebreathers. And using rebreathers to do this sucks. So get a scuba suit, it's worth it. You could buy it at the clothing store. We got several different types, too. Yes, I'm very familiar with Meriwether. Not anymore. I'm in a helicopter. I'm not just jumping out of my helicopter. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna need this helicopter to get away in a few minutes. I should have. I should have just drove the helicopter right into the water. Man, this thing needs some rubber skids or something. It is landing rough. And I think that's pretty cool. As soon as you get in the water, all your scuba gear is on. There really needs to be sharks. I know there's dolphins in here somewhere, but I don't know if there's any sharks. I haven't seen any yet. When I did this mission a couple months ago, we heard dolphins. So that was kind of cool. Right as you're coming over the top, just great white just snatches you right off. It would suck, but it'd be cool. All right, now for the not fun part. Are you in? Nothing on the sonar, which is just what we want, of course. The deflector will be a small box with switches and antenna and so on. Everybody can get you before you can get them. I got him first. That was that was pretty good. Uh, oh no, still alive. Damn, it's not down there. Let's see, where are we going to go? 
Well, I guess we'll go down and then cut back across. Probably be the easiest way to do it. Maybe it's where the... Oh shit, I didn't see that guy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Like I said, getting got is easy in here. I oh, know, I turned around. Fucker, what do you shoot me for? Make me bleed my own blood? We turn the alarm off, that is annoying as hell. Oh, I knew there was somebody in there. Somebody right there, too. Oh, my apologies, I gotta reload. Can you hold on a second? Oh, there's the, the damn cook. I don't know how many times that dude stabbed me. You die. You die and you go to hell. Well, at least I know I'm getting close to where I'm supposed to be. Who's around the corner? Oh, there he is. Somebody in here? You know, a weight room in a submarine just really doesn't sound like a good idea. Unless all that shit's bolted to the floor. <laughs> but otherwise, it's just gonna be on one side of the room. In a pile. Nope, that's not nobody. Neither is that. Got him. Can't get this guy. Yeah, I got him. Ah, I knew there was another guy. Alright, let's grab the thing in my bobber. Come on, pick it up. Do the thing. There we go. Well, well, there you are. There I, I am. Onto my sonar as soon as you took the scanner. Now, time to leave. Nope. Oh. All right, let's head back to the little yellow dot. Get in the helicopter and fly back to our submarine. Oh, yeah. Bitch. I hate this. Needs to be a better gun. The shotgun's pretty much the best weapon for in here. Alright, let's get out. Alright, head back to the old helicopter. Gotta stay in the deep water now because there's gonna be helicopters coming after us. Anybody ever gone scuba diving before? I've never done it. My dad used to do it a lot. And I have never been scuba diving. This seems like it would be really cool. I had a friend of mine that went snorkeling on his uh, honeymoon. And they said it was, it was so awesome. They saw all kinds of tropical fish. And then the second day... Yeah. They'll be fine. But then on the second day, they took a helicopter ride over the entire island. And when they did, they went over the same reef, and the guy said that all on the other side of the reef was nothing but sharks. Just all you could see. So the whole time that they were down there diving, with snorkeling and stuff, there were sharks just virtually right on the other side of the reef that they were diving on. So, yeah, I'm not... I try to stay out of the ocean because there's monsters that live in it, so I probably won't ever do any scuba diving unless it's in a lake or something. And then that would, you know, fly. <laughs> Just like being in a submarine. There's no damn way you could get me in a submarine. Like people in the military who serve on submarines, you guys, I applaud you. You couldn't get me to go down into a metal tube underwater. For nothing. There's no there's there's no way I would do that. And I have a friend whose sister's husband worked on a submarine in the Navy, and basically what I've been told is driving a submarine is like going down the interstate like forty miles an hour with your windshield painted black and you're listening out the window. 
So, yeah. No thanks. Alright. Demolition charges. Mandatory? I thought that was... That sucks. I thought that was part of the things we didn't have to do. Alright, let's see where we're going. So I have to move the boat. Boom. Perfect. The Yellow Jack Inn. Yeah. I just... No. I've seen too many movies about submarines and stuff. And have you ever smelled submarine paint? See, I'm a painter. And I've done industrial work. And if you know what submarines smell like, and then you become that same smell, then you... you yeah. There's not a lot of plus sides I can find for being on a submarine. I mean, you... I think they don't. You don't have to shave. I think that's probably about it. So you can conserve water, but yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> it's the Rubio's front door. He's not the ordinary front door. From our reconnaissance, it looks like I'm not going in the front door. Why do I have to even get this? Why is it mandatory? So, kill the bad guys, take their stuff. Gotcha. Alrighty then. That hit something. That definitely did. That was just the house. All right, shot all them fish in that barrel. Did you not find it? Strange. Perhaps it is at the farmhouse. I have sent you GPS location. Strange. Of course it was going to be at the farmhouse. This is GTA. What are you talking about? It's never going to be the easy way. We're going to do it the hard way just because. And if you figure out an easy way, we're going to make you to where you can't do it. You know something I used to do? And I never talked about it because I didn't want anyone to ever know. So it would get back to Rockstar and they would take it away. And I used to use my cargo hauler, cargo bob, to carry the little trucks when you go to do your biker sales. You can't do it anymore. I tried to do it the other day and it won't pick it up off the ground. I was pissed. So now I don't even want to do the biker cell missions anymore. I'm just like, nah. Because I'm not driving that posted truck. That thing sucks so bad. And if you have somebody driving the... What the fuck am I doing? Oh my god. And if you stay in the posted truck and somebody else is in the cargo bob, they drop you. You land there. You jump out. You do the thing. They pick you back up or whatever and take you. It goes so much faster. You can knock them all out. But nah. Somebody was like... Told Rockstar, now Rockstar made where you can't do it. That's stupid. I didn't hit shit, but I used like $50 worth of ammo. Shot him in the ankles to death. Jesus hates Christ! Ooh, look at that guy. She shot right through the drywall. Put that guy, Mohawk guy's down. Hit him again. Alright, let's go. Got some coming. No, oh, he went in the kitchen, I guess. What was that? I didn't hear you. Oh, we got a whole row. It's a good thing you guys are all methed up and ain't got no good shots. Ain't got no good shots. I'll kill you. Don't let him get you. Why? Oh, somebody's behind me. Trying to get me. What are you doing in here? Who is shooting me? Come on! There he is. Yeah, shot you in the dick. See outside. You bleeding ass. 
Oh, he's in this little hole over here. Yeah. The hell is the room I gotta go to? I used to remember where this was. This ain't it. Go get fucked. Back here. No. This is a pretty expansive hillbilly mansion. Screw you. Find some cover. It didn't help you, did it? This looks familiar. So over here. Ah, now we are now where we're at. Of course we don't have the key card. Oh, there it is. I've already killed the dude. Where's it at? Excellent. You know, my uncle would say, Pavel, let cousins be cousins. Well, uncle, look where this gets you, huh? Now, once you have the key, use it to get into the basement. The quicker we are finished here, the better. What? You brought a knife to a shotgun fight? Shot him in the knees to death. Do you have it yet? Yes. Get moving. They will be after you. Well, you're pretty pushy for a guy who's not right here. You gotta be shitting me. I wouldn't shit you. You're my favorite turd. Alright, all I need is this thing to get me back to the submarine. I don't think it's going to make it, but we're going to give it a good college try. So first thing we got to do is get as high up in the air as we possibly can. The problem with that is the altitude makes it burn out quicker. I don't know why. As you'll see the smoke get grayer and grayer the higher I get. Well, darker and darker. If I get up high enough, then I can just use my parachute. Or at least clear this mountain. Ah! Come on! Come on, baby. We can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. You got this. It's not that far. I don't think she's going to make it. Ah! She's puttering. Time to evacuate. I'm always scared my helicopter's gonna hit me. Do you know yet how many you will take with you on the final stage of this operation? Just me. You can do it alone, Captain. No one doubts this. But success is easier to find if you search with friends, yes? And more friends means we can liberate more of Mr. Rubino's valuables, yes? Eh, that's questionable. Here we are. I wonder how many times I've been killed while that little animation's been going on. Alrighty. We are back. Okie dokie. Now let's start at the next one. Still don't know why I had to do that one. Alright, plasma cutter. Got a fingerprint cloner. And then torch. Or is this the plasma? The torch. Pretty much right where I'm at. It does make it easier to move it around. Like I'm saying, like if you had, that's why I don't know why we didn't use the yacht. Because it's basically what you're doing. It's just a movable base. 
And my yacht is cooler. I got a hot tub and stuff like that. I got a bartender. And a fancy bedroom. This is just a cot. All right, let's go to the safe house. So the house that I've been working on, the homeowners have a lot of horses. And the whole time I was there, I was kind of wondering, you know, what, what do horses think about unicorns? Do you think they're like really cool? They're like, oh man, unicorns are awesome. They're like the special forces of horses. Or do you think they're just like, Ah, those snobs. We can't stand unicorns. I don't know. It's just some of the things I think about. It's what happens when you work with paint fumes. See, that's the thing, because horses have been in wars, they pull a fire department, you know, all that stuff. They have worked and earned their way through history. But the second you bring up a unicorn, everybody's like, ooh, a unicorn. They're magical. See, I think horses hate them. After your first time playing through these uh, these all these missions, you should have the option to turn off the speaking and just have like subtitles or something. Okay, you are in location, but not in gunfight. Nobody home? Hmm. Perhaps they have started the job sooner than anticipated. Look around. There must be some plan, some document that will give clue to where they are. You're right here. Something I can cross-reference. All I need is a photograph. That should work. Okay, give me a second. One. So the criminals that we were trying to steal from have an alarm on their safe house? Ah. See, that would make sense because, you know, thieves are the ones that are always worried about other thieves. And is it thieves buy the best locks? If that's a saying or something I've heard one time before. Something like that? I don't know. I just want to get over here and get these bad guys and get this thing so I can make this money. Get this paper. Criminals. I am here to do... Oh, I'm in the wrong damn spot. Could you imagine if you were just minding your own business, just trying to rob a store, and all of a sudden a missile just comes whipping down into where you're at, blowing up all your shit? I mean, it'd be a day. It would definitely be a different day. Bad guy. Should be a bunch of these cars showing up. A bunch of them. Huh. I don't know why it spawned those two on the street, but we're going to take advantage of this because if they're on their feet, that means no other cars are going to show up. Get over here and try to land. Oh, cautiously. Saying this thing needs some skids. Boom! Just like that. It's just like 
metal to the ground. No, no shock absorbers or nothing. You feel that in your lower back. <laughs> Alright, everybody over here is dead. Even the guy didn't know what he was supposed to kill. Oh well. Things happen. Why? What's on my back? I was at a bar one time and a dude told me to watch my back and a chick immediately threw a drink in my face. So I don't understand what the what the thing was. She should have waited till I turn around. And then threw it at me. Or something, I don't know. I remember one time I was running sound. I I am kind of a musician, but not gonna go into the whole thing. Uh, but I used to run sound for bands. One time, we were playing in this little tiny club, just right off the, you know, just a little country club, and probably about 50, 75 people in it. Good time. It's about 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night, and I'm watching everybody on stage. I have headphones on because I'm listening to the mix, and everybody on stage just stops playing, and I'm kind of like, oh, that's kind of weird, and they're all looking behind me, and I turn around and look, and everyone in the bar is fighting, like the entire staff everybody everyone except for me and the band is currently in a fist fight and then like five minutes later it was over and then everybody went back to drinking I mean, it was a pretty good night but i don't know what happened what caused the the immense amount of ruckus but it was you know it was insane Plasma cutter has been delivered. Yeah, but I thought about sometime maybe like, you know, sometimes I put music on here. I just use whatever the the music is you can get from the thing, but uh, royalty free music and stuff like that. But I thought about actually, you know, I can play some instruments doing like my own little kind of tunes on maybe a video or something. See how it goes. You never know. I might surprise you. I can play drums, bass, guitar, harmonica, a little bit of piano, a very little bit of trumpet, like, like very little. And I can make a saxophone sound like a goose that's being pulled through a chain link fence. <laughs> but I can play the basics, so I can put together a little ditty. All right. I remember when I first tried to do this, I tried to fly around everywhere from one spot, and somebody was like, you, just move the, the damn submarine. And whoever that person was, I thank you, because you have saved me so much. I mean, I'm pretty much flying, because it's nowhere near the, the amount I was at the beginning. And something, this, now this is completely unrelated to what we're talking about right now, but it's also about the yachts. But what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted was, you should be able to call in any helicopter to your yacht. Like my buzzard and all those things, that I should be able to call those into my yacht. And on another note, I heard... Son of a bitch. No. No, not that one. This one. But I heard that we're supposed to be able to have our armor refilled when you finish a mission or go into a mission or something like that. Find the computer terminal. We will hack it and locate the 
archives. This man's security is in serious need of updates. This man talks uh, fucking constantly. This never at troll farm. Oh, are you done? Are you done? <laughs> Okay, so what I was saying is, so hopefully, you'll be able to buy your armor through whatever, a menu or something. Coming when the next DLC comes or upgraded thing. I heard something on Newswire or saw it or whatever, I don't remember. It could have been a complete lie. But hopefully that is coming true. Because I am tired of having to go to the store just to get ammo. I mean armor. And I should be able to carry 50 of the damn things. I got space for 50. There. Now I've said my piece. You are close now. There will be CCTV here as well. Don't mind me, hobos. I'm just shooting out some cameras. There's the other one. This is right there. Oh, shit. Look at me. I just busted out my window. So you get for walking around in scope. There it is, right? Oh, there. Think. Now, do not get distracted in there. The fail-safe tool will be the size of a credit card. Probably it will have an antenna. Yeah, the dancing girls are really distracting. I don't know how you could possibly get in and out of here without being distracted. Do you have the device? Get it out of there, quickly. I'm trying to run fast, but I can't because I'm... Well, I'm just going to be quiet. I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> All right, let's take this back to the damn submarine. After all this damn running around. And I did hear it for GTA 6, we are being wiped clean. You are starting brand new. Which is good, because there's no reason for people being in, you know. We've had this one long enough. Let's 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 start a new character. Let me let this one retire. He's tired, boss. <laughs> I'm tired, boss. Yeah. In our line of work, it pays to look ahead, Captain. To think of how we cover our tracks. And the most important way will be to destroy all vehicles, weapons, and equipment once we are finished. No loose ends. Mr. Rubio takes oh, okay. all the I've had this, char this character since 2013. Day after Christmas, 2013. That's when I created this character. Alright, now we gotta go get the damn cutting torch. At least this is the easy mission. This one's mainly just go there, pick it up, and come back. Let's see if I gotta move. Eh, I'm pretty much there. There's no reason to move anywhere. Let's jump in the old helicopter. You see, this would have been a good thing to have for the, the jetpack. To come out of here in the jetpack. Just an option. Because I'd use the jetpack more than I'd use the submarine. Sites have them. Should be easy to find. Only one complication will be the armed guards. 
Yay, tier three. Challenge updated. 25 prep work missions without dying. Oh, we don't want to kill nobody. Okay, I'm going to teach you something right now. This is a million dollar trick. This works in real life. This is a real life glitch. Now say you want to get into a show. Now this doesn't work for like Coliseum kind of gigs. You could try it, but it'd be risk, real risky. But say you're like at, there's clubs in the local town where you are. There's a band playing or something and you want to see this band. Now, it can't be like a small little dive bar. It's got to be like a pretty good sized place that has like at least one or 200 people that can go into it. You know, so you don't stick out in a crowd. And what you want to do is you want to show up with a guitar case. Now, I used to keep an empty guitar case in my car just for said adventures. And let me tell you, 99% of the time it works. Like... You walk in, the, the way you do it is you just carry the guitar case, you walk in, you want to look kind of rough, you know, you don't want to look like fresh and clean, just took a shower, because none of the guys in the band have, and nobody on the crew has. So, you want to kind of look like a crew member of the band, and then you just walk in, you just look at somebody, and if somebody looks at you, you're like, what? I'm trying to get to work. And they'll, you know, they just, yeah, it, it works, it's so amazing. I've done it so many times, I'm totally telling on myself now, but... Like, you can get into places that, oh, we're sold out. Go grab a guitar case. Put on some shitty looking clothes, look kind of greasy, mess your hair up a little bit. Walk right in the front door. Walk right past the bouncers like you don't, like they owe you money. Just walk right past them. And nobody say shit. I've done it so many times. Seen so many bands. It's, yeah. Just getting into bars like that, if you can do it. Just, yeah. If you look like you're supposed to be somewhere... You can do anything you want. My dad told me one time that a long time ago in the military, a dude showed up with a pickup truck, like a, you know, like not like a regular street pickup truck, but a military truck and had a clipboard and told a bunch of dudes to load a bunch of shit onto a truck. And they did because the dude come out there and started barking orders and had a clipboard and was dressed and looked just the part. And it was some random dude who stole all kinds of shit off the military base. And they never caught the dude. So... Yeah, if you look the part, people will let you get away with anything. Well, not anything. But there's stuff you can get away with. But the guitar case works. Trust me. But if you actually have a guitar, that works too. Especially if it's like an acoustic or something. Because then, if you don't get kicked, if you don't get in, you can sit outside and just jam on the acoustic. And the chicks will come out and be like, oh, he's playing songs. And, you know, stuff like that works. I'm telling you, if you're having a problem getting the ladies, all you need is a guitar. Just learn how to play guitar. Or any instrument. Drums, drum. Chicks love drummers. If you can sing, you don't even have to be good looking at all. There's, It doesn't even matter as long as you can sing good. You'd be amazed what being a musician can do. Eh, do I want to? Yeah, might as well. This is my third least favorite mission. This is the one where you have to follow Meriwether all the way across the damn map in a helicopter. Well, you can use whatever you want, but they're going to be in a helicopter. And they drive slow, and they take forever, and you want to shoot them. But you can't. All right, so let's jump in this and... But if you were gonna try to do it at a Coliseum or something like that, like a big show, like major band or something like that, the way you would have to do it is you wanna dress in all black, you wanna have a flashlight on a belt, like a little mag light, you wanna have, you need to have laminates like a cord around your neck that's, you know, it's got all the little cards that they use from every band and show that they've been to. If you have a stack of those and just look greasy, they'll think you're in the crew. <laughs> you can get right in. But you gotta be careful because there's a lot more security at a Coliseum show like that. So you gotta actually 
I wouldn't try the Colosseum if you don't know what the person you're supposed to be imitating job does. Because I've done the job as a crewman. What the hell am I doing? I tried to turn off the damn... Oh my god, I'm a moron. I just jumped right out of that fucking helicopter. Anyway, I was trying to turn off the the heat-seeking missile so it wouldn't rattle and make noise the whole time, but I just jumped out of the helicopter. So, that was pretty smart. But I've actually been worked as a roadie or technician or whatever you want to call it like that for bands, so I kind of know what you're supposed to do. But just watch some videos on YouTube. I'm not telling anybody to be sneaking into concerts and murdering people or any kind of crazy shit like that. Do not take this as advice or a uh, dude on the internet said I could do it. No, no, don't, don't, no, don't, any of that. I'm just saying, for instance, you could. You shouldn't, but you could. I don't know. Security's a lot more tighter than it was when I was doing this all the time, too. Especially with the way freaky people are now. Like, I wouldn't try to... Like, if you're a Swifty or something, like you, you're not getting backstage. The, the security back there is so tight that it's ridiculous. But if you were going to see, like... I don't know. Corn or some heavy metal band or something like that, pretty good chance you, you could probably get backstage. But the the more high profile, I'm not saying you know Corn isn't high profile. You know that's a pretty good band from the '90s. But you know, but Taylor Swift is like banging it out the door right now. So like superstar. But if you were if you're, if you're trying to get into a show like that, that's not going to happen. I mean, there's ways to get into it, but it usually involves being a female. And I don't know. You could probably. I don't know. I'm you know, just saying. Use your imagination. But you don't want to do that. You want to sneak in all respectably like. Or if you really want to do it, find out who the crew members are and become friends with them. Or just buy a damn ticket. <laughs> I'm not doing that. And I saw a concert the other day. The tickets for it I wanted to go to. I'm not going to say the band, but the tickets were close to $500 for front row. And for front row seats, if I pay $500, I better be sitting in a lazy boy with a person handing me drinks. And while I'm getting a massage on my neck and shoulders and stuff like that, or you know, it, it better be an experience like the band comes up and personally sings the song to me. $500? That is ridiculous for a concert. It's insane. And then I heard some people, they were talking about they were in... They saw a show in Vegas. They paid something like $600 a piece for the tickets. No. I wouldn't pay $600 to go see Jesus. <laughs> I'd be like, is there a free afternoon matinee or something I can go check out? Oh, cool. We're going to be able to do this room really easy. Now that we've taken forever following this damn helicopter. It's going to land on this roof. And we're going to make short work of this. We're going to use the bang bang stick. The big boomer. Well, not the big, big boomer. But the Mark II with explosive rounds. these guys. Dude is walking right through the gun range. That no, don't matter. He's down. Down. Ooh, missed him. We shot him right in the dick. Center mass. He's down. Now, imagine, you know, you're sitting there and like you're shooting like, where is this coming? And you're just watching people around you explode. No, that's terrifying. It's insane. Oh, he got lucky. He's like, please don't shoot me. Right in the head. Who's left? 
Got this guy. Headshot. Explosion. Oh, I hope he's... Let's check. Okay. Don't want to blow up something important. Make sure you don't shoot that Valkyrie down there until you land, either. Oh, shit. I think I just blew up stuff that's going to cause that to blow up. I got to hurry up. Oh, that's a good ways away. I might get lucky. All right. I think that's all the bad guys. All right. Let's jump in here. Fly over there. Finish up this mission. Because if you blow up the Valkyrie before you get there, you fail the mission. Oh, there's still some money over here. Not anymore. Oh, he does. He's down, he's down. Oh. Shot him directly in the butt talks. Got that. Ooh. What the hell was that? That ammo is possessed. Has anybody st stayed in here to see what happens when it lands? I don't know. Not right on top of my helicopter. Perfect. No shit, Sherlock. All right, let's hurry up and get out of here before we get shot. Damn. Heat-seeking missiles wouldn't even hook on. He don't hook on, whatever it is. Lock on. My brain just shut down. All right, we'll fly these back to the Kosaka. Kosatka. Kosata? I don't know. The submarine. Taking it back to the sub. And if there is so much as a fucking foothill in GTA 6, I'm going to be mad. If I have to fly over... Florida is where we're going. That's... There, there better not... The highest elevation in Florida is 100 feet above sea level. It better not be anything even remotely like this. I am tired of flying over all this shit. Tired of it. No more. On my flat land where I can see, you know, all the buildings you want. I don't care. City, that's that's perfectly fine. But I want the land to be flat. I'm tired of flying over mountains and shit like that that gets in the way. It's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can't land on this one in the helicopter in the submarine either. So I have to bail out of this. A perfectly good helicopter. I'm excited for GTA 6. It's going to be awesome. It'll be so much fun to learn a new city. Especially with the size of the map is as big as it has been rumored. Ooh! I am so scared I'm going to get hit by my own helicopter. No, I don't like going in that way. You go in that way and the roof leaks and you get mold. I use this door because it has a better seal on it. Alright. So now we have... We finished the the major stuff. All the mandatory. Now we're gonna do the disruption. And I know there's people out there that are like, ah, oh, you don't have to do this. You you can just do the thing. Yeah, well, see here's the way this works. If I get rid of all this stuff that makes the people on the island weaker, 
and that works out for me because there's no sense in going there where they're all fully prepped. So if I take care of all of this, then I can be a little more relaxed going in because I know I'm going to screw up. I know I'm going to alert the guards. So if I have, if I do, and they have weak armor and just regular guns and there's no extra helicopters, that works out for me. Now, does it take longer? Yeah, it does. Are they a pain in the ass to do? Somewhat. But, like I said, it, it works out for me. And if you haven't played these a bunch of times, you might want to do them for yourself. If you're an ace and can walk through it and knock them out, hey, you do you. But they're not that hard and they don't take that long to do it. got 10 minutes to fly around the map and destroy all these helicopters you can fly around the map in six minutes so you got plenty of time the worst part about it is trying to shoot the helicopters and you're being chased bad thing is is you can't really call in another vehicle because you really need all the time you've got to get all the way around the map but if you could like my uh hunter helicopter is way faster than this knock it out so much faster but that being said you can't really call it into your submarine you'd have to go get it and that takes away time from actually doing the mission the same with the going after that help the plane that he wants you to go get I'm sure it would work great, but I'd rather use the time to do what I'm doing right now. Because I know I'm going to get it this way. Must be getting close because they stopped spawning. Oh, here we are. And this one's easier than the bodyguards. The gun, you'll see. This one you can at least lock on to. Alright, now they're done. Now let's see which one of these is closer. I can't tell with that. Pull up the big map. So the one to the right is closer. All right. I did get the... What is it? The, the shocking weapon that the, for Halloween. Because I had a friend of mine play my... Come in and sign me in so I would get some of my stuff. And I wanted the Sanctus, so I had them buy the Sanctus while I was out of town. So I did get some of the stuff from Halloween, I just didn't get to play the, the survival. But I was hoping they were going to bring out a new car since this was the last Halloween in GTA, on, GTA Online, the GTA 5. Right there, right below me. Too close. One and two. All right, got three more left. And we'll have this one done. The buzzards really aren't the problem, because when you get away. I mean, if you if you do it right, you don't really have to worry about too much of the helicopters. The armor and the weapons are really the main thing. Because once you alert the guards and all hell goes loose, then you've only got certain weapons that you can use. If you could use your own personal weapons, it wouldn't even be a problem. But you're stuck to whatever weapons you chose for this, and I am using the machine gun pistol and the shotgun. Once it goes nuts, 
the shotgun's pretty much all I'm using. We do not have much time, Captain. We got plenty of time. Shut up. I'm right here. And away we go. Boom. So I'd say this one's probably the second hardest one to do. And this one right here is probably the easiest one. Kind of. But you got 10 minutes to do this one too. And the sucky part about this one's when you have to go inside the building. Well, no, that's not really the bad part. The bad part is when you have to go after the tugboat. You'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna fly over here and blow up a bunch of stuff. Hopefully. Come in all sneaky like. Well, two missiles completely different wrong directions. Boom. So you can't lock on, so you gotta do the old alley-oop. Still a box over here? Is that it? Oh, oh, no, that wasn't there it. Some there. Check inside. Of course you gotta go inside. Uh, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Too many people, too many poles. What? There's nowhere to hide. Ah, one that's La mano, it's fragile. Ah, Must be Italian. There sure are a lot of guys in here. Sons of bitches. I feel like fucking up. Oh. All right. Now we're going to put one on this one. And then one over here. And then one over here. And we're going to go all the way over here. That way we don't get killed. What the fuck? Of course. So, now we're going to go back inside. There's still one in there, in there. Isn't it? Still one in there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. It blew up every one of them but the one that in back here in this corner. And didn't I put a damn bomb on that one? We're not to discuss it. We're going to get going. Now the worst part of this is you have to shoot this tugboat. And you can't lock onto it. Alright, let's fly over here and kill the tugboat. Parts of pain in the ass. It's like trying to skeet shoot from a rocket chair. <laughs> that's bullshit. That one should have hit. Ah. You son of a 
bitch. I'm gonna get too close, I don't blow myself up. Alright. Boom, that one's done. See, that was the easy one, but not really. Alright, this one's probably the most pain in the ass to do. And you'll see why when we get to the... When we get there. Because of these, of course, you can't lock onto either. Alright, let's see where they are. One there, one there, one over there. All right. All right. So the first one we're going to is at the stadium thing, open air amphitheater kind of deal. He's going to be on the roof. We're going to snipe him with the explosive rifle make it go easy. Well, that's what the plan is. Plans of mice and men are often go away. I don't know. I don't know all these friggin' proverbs and stuff. But something about mice and men and their plans always get messed up. So, remember that. Don't make plans with a mouse. Because it'll get messed up. Best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. I think that's it. All right, so we're going to land right here. That lands so nice. Bring out the boomstick. Look for the guy with the arrow on him. Shoot him. Oh, it took two explosive rounds, but he's down. All right, two more. You got eight minutes to do it. It's a cake. This second one, though. This one's, this one's a different kind of beast. It's kind of a, it's got a damn, what is it, a juggernaut dude with all the armor and the machine, the minigun. This is why I strongly recommend the Mark II sniper rifle. Better get some faster helicopters too. Because if the map's gonna be way bigger, it's gonna take longer to get to places. And that lands nice. Alright, let's break out the stick. hear him. Let's see. That making Ah, oh, there he is. Am I hitting him? Just wasting ammo. Yep. Just hitting the side of that truck. Ooh, that got him. That pissed him off. That's two. You get in the portalette? I think he's in the portalette. The portalette is bulletproof. Alright, so we're gonna do this the old fashioned way with the old. Send them down. Got him. Alright. That worked out a lot easier than I thought it was going to. I thought I was gonna have to go in there and do some stupid shit. Like I was saying about flying over stuff, like all of the next map better be like this. All of this, right? Because this is what Florida looks like. Well, not, you know, it's more swampy, but, you know, flat. None of this mountain shit. I don't want to see no more mountains. You want mountains? We'll do GTA 7 in Colorado or some shit like that. 
That would be pretty cool, though. At Pike's Peak. Wow, oh, that'd be awesome. See, like, here's a million dollar idea for a video game. I would love to buy this video game. And I thought Gran Turismo was kind of going to do it, but it didn't really do it. If you have the thing to where you can do cars like Gran Turismo, where you have the actual cars and stuff like that, then map out, and, you know, make it look good, just like GT7, uh, and set up, like, you know, the different roads and stuff that you can do, like the Pacific Coast Highway, where you can just drive them, where people can just enjoy driving them. You know, because... I like doing that. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not really, you know, the most fun game. But for a simulator, it would be fun. Ah, uh, this dude's hidden behind some shit. Whoa, I almost got taken out by Bambi's dad. Still can't see him. But I think it'd be cool. You know, the Pacific Coast Highway, Route 66, all the fancy, cool roads and stuff. Different places in Europe. I think it would be really neat to, to drive the Autobahn without act actually having to have, you know, any say in the game. You know, like you could drive as fast as you wanted on whatever car and you didn't have to worry about it because, you know, it's a sim. Is that him? Oh, I tried. Oh, where'd he go? Well, I guess the guy took off. He's like, yeah, you shot him in the head. You son of a bitch. Oh, you're just walking down the street, dumbass. All right. Oh, good. So that's over with. Now we can do the heist. All right, let's do it. Let's get busy. All right, got everything we need. Start. Get some super heavy duty. Thing. I wonder how much armor I've got. I didn't even check. Too late now. Alright, approach vehicle. We are going to use the Kosatka. Correct. Infiltration point. The drainage tunnel. Compound entry point. The drainage tunnel. Escape point. It doesn't matter. But we're going to go with Kosaka. Kosaka. Whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. The submarine. Time of day? Night. I like nighttime. It's peaceful. Weapon loadout. We're using the aggressors. And we have suppressors. Is that? Yeah. No, I want those on. Okay. That's what weapons we're using. Don't need any support crew. Nobody gets a cut. I'm starting it. I'm doing it. Let's get paid. Oh, I didn't use my tiger stripes. That's why I bought them. Damn it. Ah, the minefield. Oh, this GPS brings back memories. Acquired. I have your location. Once you are inside the compound, I will be able to see you on CCTV. Knock, knock, Mr. Rubio. Guess who is back again? Uh, the drainage pipe is dead ahead. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this game is set in the 90s. Maybe that's just GTA 5. I don't know if online follows the same thing. I wonder if that's going to be a thing for GTA 6. Are we going in the past? Or are we going to be at the present? Or something like that? Maybe the future? Who knows? I'm trying to really not watch as much stuff about it as possible. Because I like it to be a surprise. Alright, let's see if I can do this. If you do it slow and steady... Get okay, it. Uh, that's not slow and steady. There you go. I want to. I want to know what kind of torch 
setup you can use like this that'll cut through. Looks like what, two inch steel? He said stainless steel, but it's rusted, so. Cause I know some guys that weld would really like to have some shit like that. Probably a stainless steel grate. Do do do. All right, let's see how long I can keep this quiet. That wasn't going to take long. Go to the shotgun. He drops on. Oh, there's one of the key cards. Shot the hell out of me. Alright, but anyway. Whoop. He's dead. Just pick up the keys. Get this guy. There you go. See, with all this craziness, the last thing you want is them to have good armor and guns. Alright, now we're in the room. Might as well grab the second key card. There's nobody here for it, but you know, hey, why not? Let's get the safe. Take that cash. If a gate is locked, look for the key. Probably it is with one of the many people you have shot. Sweet. Always worth looking in the safe. Now we'll cut the paintings. Thirty thousand out of the safe. How much is this painting worth? Is that like a hundred and forty thousand? Something like that. One seventy. Sweet. All right, now for the suckiest thing in the damn world. I hate doing these. Okay, you are at the scanner. Time to use the tool we got from head of cybersecurity. You will see a target print oh, and some easy. fragments of previous scans. You just need to cycle through them to match the target. Oh, and try not suck. to get shot while you're using it. right yep oh that one something's wrong I said the next one out there it goes all right ah oh, this one's really mixed up all right 
That's right. I don't think... Maybe. I can't tell. I'll come back. That's wrong. What are you doing, dumbass? All right. Nope. Oh, it's got to be the one with the two things. Okay. No. Remember, there is a keypad in Mr. Rubio's office. If you can get there alive. There. Damn, I was a pain in the ass. Hate that thing. Sometimes I can knock him out, sometimes it's just annoying. Okay, time to move. Alright, let's get to the fun part now. Once again. There's a guy right there. Damn, totally missed him. Took all my armor away. See, I don't understand why I needed the damn... Explosives, because I can use the torch for that. Made me do a setup mission I didn't have to do. The only way into that display case is the plasma cutter, and the only way to use a plasma cutter is very carefully. No doubt. Any frickin' time now. Yay. Probably the trail of dead bodies and all the scuba gear I left there. Alright. Now let's get out of here. Let's make like some geese and get the flock out of here. shot. Doors confuse me. Door make head hurt. Can't do it. Green button. Door open. I happy now. <laughs> Alright, here come some more bad guys. Somebody's got some damn good shot. Ah, oh, no more body armor. That's some shit. Hope I don't need regret that. Oh, I got this. Mm, 
We are out of here. Well, we got a bunch of swimming to do, but almost out of here. We're free. down here and then swim to the left until we leave and we've got this done two million two hundred and forty thousand seven hundred and twenty one dollar take I think that's probably the best I've done so far on this if I don't hit a mine and has anybody seen the monster the Loch Ness monster or whatever it is that's out here I've never seen it. One time he said that there was something out there, but it was a friend of his, but I never got to get to see it. I'm scared I'm going to swim too low and die. Looks like Mr. Rubio is heading back. little further. Just keep swimming. Keep swimming. Gonna Be pretty cool if they came out with one of those like powered underwater I don't even know what they're called. It's kind of like an underwater jet ski or something. I've seen them in some videos. Why? Thank you very much. I don't think there was a million dollars inside that envelope, though. I could have made that much, but I only made that much. 1.97. Yep, I got detected. And you should get an ass of RP for that. You should get like 10,000 RP for doing that. All right, let's see what the final total is. Got 1.9, 340,000, fencing fee, that's bullshit. Pavel fees, bullshit. All right, well, this is Grey Witch. I hope this helps you out, and I will see you next time. Peace!